Good morning everybody. So it's about 10.30 and I've just had a delivery from T2 so I thought I would unbox it for you. So let's get on with the unboxing and it's a T2 unboxing just in case you're not familiar. T2 is a, an Australian tea company where I love to buy tea. It is, I think it is quite pricey compared to other companies that you can buy tea from. For instance, I know Retard is slightly cheaper but I just really love this tea and so let's get straight to it. Before we get started, if you can hear that background noise, it's obviously roadworks and there's absolutely nothing I could do about it. I was going to record a couple of episodes of the podcast, my Authorpreneur podcast and my Thriller Novel Nerd podcast, which was actually a book haul, but I can't because of all that noise and there's no way I'm going to be edit, edit all of that out in post, so I'm going to have to wait another day for the roadworks to stop and... I have a funny feeling the Entrepreneur podcast is going to be late again because of that. I mean, I've still got a few days, but it might be a bit difficult. So that's the receipts. So the reason why I wanted to show you this is I've got a tea problem, obviously. And I've got a few new teas I wanted to, or I think one. And it's this, actually this first one is called green rose and it's such a really nice tea and it's exactly what it says on the tin really so it's green flavored tea and it has a really nice tones like floral tones and it's just amazing i love it and it's a nice change to just having straight green tea this is simply beautiful i love it and this is another old favourite, and it's just lemongrass and ginger. And I just use this when I'm feeling a bit nauseated. Sometimes when I'm on my, at some point in my menstrual cycle, towards the end, just before I'm about to get my period, I actually become quite nauseous. It's like a super fun PMS symptom. And this does help with that, along with the other things that help with that are actually Lemonata. So this one is tummy tea and this is great for digestion and it contains, look at the back, peppermints, licorice root, fennel, marigold petals. So yeah, so obviously if you were pregnant you probably wouldn't have this purely because of the peppermint, licorice root and fennel. I have a funny feeling you can't take that if you're pregnant. So this is probably not a great tea for you if you're pregnant, possibly breastfeeding. And the last one is a tea that I usually get. And it's called... Da -da -da, Sencha Green Tea. And usually I alternate between the Sencha Green Tea and the green rose throughout the day and then after 5 p.m. I might have like a the tummy tea or a chamomile because I, I try not to consume too much caffeine. So that's it, that's the end of my mini tea haul and I'm just gonna go and make myself a cup of tea and get back to writing. So I've just had another exciting delivery I wanted to share with you. I know this vlog seems to be just haul after haul after haul, but I'm actually super excited to show you this. So let's just get into it. I feel like I've finally mastered unboxing. Yes, I'm really excited for this book. It's called, so that's the cover. It's, I saw this and the French cover is so much cuter than the English cover. I know that's weird buying a book in a language I don't quite understand. Well, I'm learning French. This should help me. Reading this should help me 
obviously get better at French. So the title is pronounced Qui Pont La Bouche. And I've just texted my husband to find out what it actually means because the direct translation to English doesn't make sense. But usually it's because it's it probably has a different meaning. Like it's direct translation into English is who takes the fly. But there's probably a turn of phrase in French that can't quite be translated into English correctly. So I'm hoping he'll get back to me. And when he does, I will explain to you what it actually means. And sorry about the background noise. This is not a good day for filming or recording. I just, I'm so cheesed off. But anyway, it's so cute. And I'm really devastated that she passed away this year, at the beginning of this year. I'm just devastated because I loved the Agatha Raisin books and it's just so sad. I don't know what's going to happen with, the, with her books anymore and what her estate plans to do but I'm actually quite excited to read to read this because um, Hamish Macbeth, there's our TV series and I remember my parents watched it a lot. Anyway, I need to get back to writing. Just to let you know, Qui prend la mouche means to fly off the handle, so it's to lose your temper unexpectedly. So that's what it means, so it's an idiom. I thought it sort of meant something like that, but I wanted to just to double check. Hello everybody, it's been a while since the last clip. And just in case you're wondering, this shine here all over my face is because I've put rosehip oil on my skin, because it's like a desert. And any, like when I wear rosehip oil on my skin, any makeup that I put on, no matter if I put a primer on or not, will just sort of wash off because it's quite oily. So the last clip you just watched was actually filmed on the 9th of March and that was two weeks before the lockdown. And to be honest, I've been in two minds as to whether I wanted to share this vlog for several reasons. The first being I didn't actually finish the vlog. I decided to film that week because for the next seven days they were going I was going to receive quite a few hauls and I thought this could be quite fun me going about my usual working week and then throwing in these hauls that are sort of related to my work and filming and I think somewhere along the process I got distracted by the, the hauls and didn't pull the camera out and show you and then Things escalated from there. My husband started working from home and I got a little bit, a bit of stage fright because apparently I can't film and be watched or have anyone in the house while I film, which is super weird because I have filmed, you've noticed I've done a few travel vlogs and I've got no filming, no problem filming in public. Just I've got a problem filming in front of my own spouse. So yes, a bit weird, I'm a bit quirky. I just have some notes here, that's why I keep looking down, so I just want to stay on track. I don't want this section to become like an, this epic long hour clip because I like to talk. But today I'm receiving quite a few hauls and I feel like I can, I can now fulfill the promise in the title to you. So I feel comfortable sharing the the vlog with you now because I hate it when you watch a video on YouTube and the title says one thing you watch it and it doesn't quite fulfill the promise to you and you're like oh I'm not going to get that you know 20 minutes back because you know if that clickbaity title I don't want to see that crap on my own channel because I hate it in real life so it makes sense that I don't film stuff like that but today I have hauls Yay! So I'm going to start with the smallest one. So the smallest one is from Apple. I am, um, <laughs> the packaging was so um, light that when I tore off the address label, it tore off the actual packaging. And what's left is the stuff inside. So that's how thin and cheap the paper is. Thanks Apple for that. But um, obviously peeled off the address label because I had my address and yeah, security problems. Not that I think I have fans or anything that would want to hunt me down, but so basically this is it's new, it's still a iPhone cover for my iPhone 8 Plus, I think. Sad that I don't know my own phone. Yeah, it's an 8 Plus. 
and for some reason I thought I got the navy but apparently I ordered the rose pink colour and the, if this is just the silicon cases I sort of feel like when I drop if that if I drop my phone in these cases it's somehow a little bit more protected because of the silicon slash rubber that's around it but the other thing is because I do knock it quite a bit if you see in the corner there you may not be able to see it but yes so there's like a bit of chipping yeah it's starting to really peel if you can sort of see it there peel away at the corner and it's because I'm I've probably knocked it several times and the rubber is starting to fall off but I actually really love this green color it's just a shame I couldn't order the same one so that's why I've got a new case and these cases are super expensive they're like I think from memory this was like 45 pounds plus VAT so yeah it's expensive piece of silicon the second haul I have is from an Australian fitness company called Lorna Jane. Don't worry, I'm not going to model this for you. Because it's getting quite warm, I have a pair of tights that I usually jog in or do workouts inside the house in. And they're from... It's just down the road from me too. I can't even remember what it's called. Sweaty Betty. And the tights are like... 85 pounds it's extortionate and I mean I'm the fool for buying but so I looked at their, at their three quarter tights and they were the same price you get less fabric for the same price and I was like this is ridiculous so I went to Lorna Jane and I worked out that I could get a pair of the tights that I wanted and a sports bra for the same price plus shipping I feel like I've really won in life today didn't think about how I was going to unfold this either. The first item I pulled out is a black sports bra. I'm going to take it out of the plastic because it's super awkward. Yeah, so this is called the Pammy Bra and I got it in a size M and I got it in black because my tights are also black and I just want to be able to wash them together instead of having to do several loads, so several different colours. But usually I love to wear different colours and not just all in black. Yeah, so this is an Australian company and if you're from the UK, the, um, the sizing is exactly the same. So if you're like a size 10 in the UK, you're going to be a 10 in Australia too. So, and the... The bar sizing is a little is is a little different. For instance, if you were a thirty four B, you would be a twelve B in Australia or an S. It's super confusing. I don't know why people just can't standardize sizing, but it has high in, impact support, and it has like this little racer back thing where you can unclip it. Which I clearly can't do now. Oh yes, and it can be ju become just like a standard back. But I feel like when it's in that racer back position, that it's offers more support. But if you're a guy and you're watching, you're like, thanks for sharing. But I really love this this particular brand, and I've used these bras before. So that's why I purchased. It. I didn't just purchase something I'd, ne I'd never tried before on the internet. Because that's always a risk of clothing. And the second thing is a pair of trousers, and they just look like that. So they are three quarter length, so they come at just underneath the knee, and that em quick embroidery there is just LJ for Lorna Jane. What I do like is they have like pockets, so if you had like a gym key, you could sort of slip it in there for your locker. It's definitely not big enough for a mobile phone but you can at least sort of have your the key for your locker on you and it has a quick drying it's a, it's a quick drying fabric so if you start sweating by the time you walk to the, the gym your lock your the locker rooms it'll be dry it'll dry quite quickly apparently it's shrink and fade resistant too so which is nice and yeah so I'm quite happy with those with that yeah so these trousers were 63 pounds 
and the bar was 43. If you can sort of see the pricing here. I think I got, I did get this particular, there was a deal on, so I got the bra at a discounted price. Maybe it was a little bit more than £85. I'll check. Doesn't see the price. But I do remember there was a sale on when I purchased, when I ordered these. And it came quite quickly too. They gave me this huge sort of date range. It might come mid-May, but it turned up today. So between the last instalment where I was explaining the translation of the, the title of the French book and these two really quick hauls, I've actually been working on revising and editing the second book in my James Alon series. I've also started working on the first book in a cozy mystery series. So that's what I've been working on since that time. And my publishing plan going forward will be to publish one book in the James Long series and then one book in my in the cozy mystery series. And this is purely just to stop myself from getting bored and constantly writing the same character just over and over again because I sort of feel like potentially I could have that problem. So I, I sort of I feel that by alternating between these two series I'll have creative freedom and I won't feel like I'm trapped. I've trapped myself into writing a series that people love and me having a desire to do something different. So I sort of feel like I'm ticking both of those boxes. So thank you for watching this vlog. If you like these behind the scenes week in the life of an author vlogs, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and want to be notified about more videos just like this, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive the notifications. Thank you for watching and happy reading everybody. Bye!